In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how to master TikTok SEO so you don't get left behind on the platform. The algorithm is going through some massive changes and the platform has done a massive shift as a whole. Even one of the biggest entrepreneurs in the world in the social media industry has mentioned this fact also. The reason why you should care about SEO, which is search engine optimization, is because TikTok has gone through a massive identity change. It shouldn't be really called social media anymore. It should be called interest media or search media. And this is because how the algorithms are starting to work now is they're showing you pieces of content on your feed based on what you're searching for and your interest. This means your content or the content that gets shown on the TikTok for you page, for example, is not quite the same as it used to be where it was just random all sorts in the wild west. You're gonna be seeing pieces of content based on what you've actually been looking for currently or in the past and what you've been actually looking at. And this makes sense for a good user experience and TikTok as a business because if you're consuming content on the platform more, you're gonna see adverts and this is attractive for advertising. I've been looking at my TikTok analytics. Most of my content is getting discovered from search instead of the view page. And this is great if you have the right social media strategy or TikTok strategy because it means if you can create content that people are always searching for, like evergreen content, it means you're not gonna have to worry if your video hits the few page or not, or it doesn't go viral because your content's always gonna get discovered. And every time you're gonna get views and more views, and more views, more eyeballs on your content, on your page, and in return, get drip feeded new followers daily. Percent of people are gonna fail if they do not use SEO for that reason. You're also gonna fail if you make content with no value or substance to it and you're just making content for your own ego. You're gonna fail if you're not paying attention to your insights, your analytics and your data, what's working, what's not. You're gonna fail if you're not using the correct content formats that are suited to the TikTok platform because what you post on Instagram, if you post on TikTok, that's not gonna work. And you're gonna fail if you're not using SEO and not creating content that people are actually searching for and what they want. TikTok is really going to make it easy for you to do this along with the tips I'm going to provide in this video. Should you watch to the very end otherwise you may be missing that one thing you needed to do to get you more views, followers and ultimately more sales. Oh and if you were wondering who was the famous entrepreneur I was on about social media legend it was Gary V by the way who said exactly the same thing. SEO basically means search engine optimization and it's how your content is gonna get discovered on TikTok. And also people searching for your stuff on to Google. If you get the right SEO right on your TikTok, then if someone types something in on TikTok, then your content is gonna come up. And also if someone types something on Google, searching for something, then if you do the SEO correctly, then there's a good chance your content's gonna come up on Google. To explain what SEO is, first of all, we're gonna search on TikTok. And when you put something in the search bar, you come up with your main search term. So what I'm gonna do, for an example, I'm gonna type in creator tips, right? Because I help creators and businesses grow and make money from social media. And then what happens is I get top videos based on that search term come up at the top. And I can change the filters so it's the most recent, the most viewed, most viral. But if I scroll down a bit more, I also get a section which says what others have searched for. And there's so much information here. If you're feeling a bit stuck, then I recommend you type in how to before your search term. So for example, how to make content. Then once again, we get the top videos at the top and then we get what other people are searching for regarding that term. And that's one example how your content can get discovered if you use the right SEO because these people have implemented it in their content. So the first thing is record your video either in the TikTok app or on your phone. But what I want you to do here is I actually want you to use that term in the start of your video. So for example, with content creation tip or content creation tips for me in the beginning of my video, I could say, this is one of the best content creation tips anyone could give you right now. Make sure you watch to the end or you're gonna lose the information out of this video. Now, I've said this because it's a powerful statement which has a good attractive hook because there's also the element of the fear of missing out if you skip my video. But it also helps with the SEO because I'm actually saying on the screen what the video is about and this helps TikTok collect 
the right data, metadata. Step number two, I want you to also include the keywords, the same phrase or keywords as the headline text on your screen. Okay, so you're going to have to figure out a way of how to say that phrase on your screen as attractive title. And if you're struggling with headlines, okay, there's a really good website called Title Generator, or you can use ChatGBT. And this is going to help TikTok collect more data about what your video is about and who to push it out to. I also want you to include this same phrase you've already used twice in the caption, in the description, and say it in the very beginning, or just make sure it's in there at least anyway. Then the next step I want you to do is use it as a hashtag, preferably the first hashtag. So with mine, it was content creation tips, then the hashtag would be content creation tips. This is going to give you the best chance possible of getting your video categorized when you see a bit of text at the top and it makes your content easier to get discovered. If you don't get your video categorized, it means your content is going to get lost. You're not going to get views. You're not going to get any new followers. This is a little secret not many people know about. If you use the in-app captions, this is going to help you even more because the platform is collecting loads more data of what your video is all about. So what we're doing here, we're covering all bases for you to get views and go viral. Now TikTok have changed the game even more because your content can get searched via blue comments or search comments. And if you go on TikTok in the comments section, you will see sometimes if you're lucky, there actually is comments which are highlighted in blue. If you click on them, it takes you to different things, different pieces of content or the theme, the subject that the person has typed in. And you can do this part of a strategy by making sure you use the same words somehow, like content creation tips for me, say that as a question or a bit more value in the comments. So I could say, what do you think about these content creation tips? All right. And if you did that, and a lot of people were saying the same thing and same thing over. And if you do that, it's going to help even more of your SEO. And even better, if other people are saying the same thing or other search terms or search queries that are related to the post and content you have just posted on TikTok. I've also noticed if you do the search term and then you put brackets or commas on either side, that gives you a better chance for you to get the search blue comment, but really it's based on if lots of people have kept saying the same thing. But I would still recommend you to put it as the first comment anyway, just because you're covering all bases here. One piece of the jigsaw is adding the text as your cover photo. And the reason why this is even more important is because when people are searching for things on TikTok, and I'm not talking about if your content gets shown on a few pages, but people are searching for things. If you put the right keywords as your title, make sure it's an attractive title, like I've already spoken about, then people love clarity. People want to know what your content's about. They're more likely going to click on it. Don't try to be clever. Just say what your content's about. When someone sees it, they think, right, that's what this is about. I'm going to click it. I want to learn about this. I need to be entertained. You do all these things. This is really going to help you on TikTok. Regarding how TikTok is making it easy for you to get searched on TikTok and for you to get views and for you to go viral, then TikTok have introduced Creator Search Insights. And if you type into the search bar Creator Search Insights, you're going to see all the trending topics in any niche, your niche, content gaps, even what your followers are actually searching for right now. It tells you the exact words people are searching for. So if you use these as your title, say them on the screen, put them caption, all the tips I've just given you, there's a really good chance for you to get loads of views and go viral and get your content discovered. I'll tell you a little cheeky hack, which no one knows about. If you go into the actual Creator Search Insights page, look at the subject you want to talk about, and then click on the little video icon and then put your content into it of that subject that will boost the video even more if you need a little more help was getting views making more sales then check out the resources i've put for you in the caption to help please do let me know if you've got any questions or comments for me 
whack them below and I will see you on the next one if you have subscribed.